Yo, what's good, y'all? This is Jeffu. My bad on being MIA for like two weeks, but life just got a little bit busy. So I'm going to be back in action, posting two times a week again. I'm going to be on that grind. But hey, thank you guys so much for 200 subs. Y'all been going crazy lately. I really appreciate it. Hey, so today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make your website look better, more aesthetically pleasing, all that cool stuff. And I'm going to tell y'all some little tips that maybe other people won't be telling you. So, hey, stick around for the full video and we're going to really break this down. So first thing, go into your Shopify and we're just going to be going to our website. Before, my website was like this black and red. Honestly, it looked terrible. I'm just keeping my website a nice like white color. And then I have my banner up here and everything. Are you wondering, how do I change my colors on my website? You're going to go here and you can change all your colors for every different little thing on your website. This is gonna be for like sale items. This is gonna be for the text, the label. So you're just gonna wanna go through here, get all your colors right. And then you're gonna go here to logo. And this is a little trick. This is a little trick on how to get your website looking more clean and professional. So right, we got our logo up here. But you're gonna also wanna create a favicon image. For this one, I have a simple like favicon here. This is gonna be like, I think it was like a 400 by 400 pixel document in uh, Photoshop. So you're just gonna drag that in here. And then this is what's gonna look like. Say like, I go to my website, right? When I go to my website, website now it got a little thing right here with my logo so hey makes it look a lot more professional when i have that up there that's the first little tip right you're always going to want to check how does my website look on mobile how does my website look on desktop right so on mobile it looks like this that's where the majority of your sales are going to be coming from if you're marketing on tiktok it's mostly going to be mobile so you're going to really want to optimize your website so second thing you're going to want to do is utilize this little banner up here it's called an announcement banner and you're just going to want to link this announcement banner to whatever products you want to send it to right now i got a little sale on my website i'm gonna be sending every everybody to like all the products on my website because it's 25% off. And then I just can put a little text up here. I put it in all bold just so like it really catches the attention. Another little thing you can do to your website. For now, I just have three little tabs here. A contact us tab. Anybody needs like customer support. I have a link to like my customer support email so it doesn't like flood my main email, which is definitely like a big recommendation because I didn't do that before. And like my, my main email was getting flooded. I was like, okay, I need a separate email for customer support. Then we got a little about section. I definitely recommend like fleshing out this section of the website because this is definitely really important to like telling your story of your brand what your brand means all that stuff on this one i got unleash your creative intuition which is like my brand slogan put in a little little meaning of what my brand means what one one means and a little picture down here I think it looks pretty clean, not gonna lie. Definitely recommend putting a little about page on here. And then um yeah, you can link your little little social down here. So you're like wondering like how do I get my how do I get my socials down here, right? Say somebody goes on your website from an ad or something and they wanna find your TikTok and your Instagram, right? You're gonna go to settings, scroll down to social media, and then you're just gonna input your HTTPS link. Make sure you put the HTTPS or it's not gonna load in. I don't know what it is, but if you just put a www dot, like it's not gonna load in. So make sure to put like the full URL. And I put the one for my TikTok and my Instagram. I might put the one for my YouTube low key right now too. Boom, YouTube right in there. And now we save this, right? I got my Instagram, my TikTok, and my YouTube all down here so that definitely makes it look like okay this guy's got more going on and more legit next thing you're gonna want to do is add product photography for example i have this one right here this is my bleed the same zip up hoodie it is 25 percent off right now so hey it's not really 80 dollars. it's really 60 dollars. lowest price you're gonna get it all year if you're interested go check that out but yeah you see right here Look at this nice, clean product photography with some model shots too, showing the different details of the product as well as it on body. How do I add photos, do all that fun stuff? You're gonna wanna go right over here. You're gonna wanna go to products tab. How do you add a new product? You're gonna click here, add a product, and then it's gonna bring you to this page right here. So I have this hoodie. I put all my different information on here and you'll go in here and add your pictures. And I recommend making all your pictures the same size. So say like you upload your picture 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels or 10 inches by 10 inches, right? You wanna make sure all your pictures are also like 10 inches by 10 inches. When somebody's scrolling through, the pictures don't change sizes. That's definitely, definitely key, all right? So if you wanna add like a little clean little banner, what you're gonna wanna do is go here. You're gonna add a section, right? And then you're gonna go here to image banner. Once you go to the image banner, usually like I don't want all of this other stuff because look, it has like hella stuff on here. I just like the banner and that's it. And I just hide everything else. This is gonna be the first thing customers see when they go to your website, right? When they when they click the home page, it's gonna bring them here. This is the product that I have. So I definitely recommend putting like a uh, product pictures. You could put a little slideshow here as well. And then down here, just have like your products featured. Because when someone goes to your website, do not put like 
a full like animated website logo is gonna lag out people's phones it's gonna lag out people's computers and they're gonna click off the website because they're like why is it taking like three minutes to load or something definitely just want to have it clean and simple as possible on your website as you learn more and as you go you can add more things i got a little email pop-up down here got a video on how to add this so check that out if you want to learn how to add a little email pop-up on how to get 10 percent off i appreciate y'all and i hope you found some value in this video i'm running a little sale till monday so if y'all been looking at my pieces and been wanting to shop now is the time you're gonna get them for the cheapest price the site's gonna be closing on monday at 1 11 p.m so hey hurry up go cop but yeah love y'all and have a great day